Hey everybody, welcome back to Embracelet. These buildings have seen better days, kind of sad, and they are charming. Alright, we got the old boat. I don't think that old boat is seaworthy anymore, with all the holes and all. Eh, you don't know, you could try it. I mean, maybe, maybe the holes are, uh, just invisible, and by invisible I mean transparent planks. You don't know, could be glass bottom boat. This boat has a big hole in it. Looks old. Run over to the telephone booth. I guess you need to call your mom and tell her all your stuff's gone, huh? This is so old. You need to insert a minimum of five, co five coins to make a call. I promised to call mom, but I don't have enough money. And my phone is in my backpack. And my backpack is at the bottom of the sea. Great. Hello, bird. Sorry, closed. Might open Wednesday. If Birgit comes home. Uh, I don't know who Birgit is. We got some kind of like pachinko machine. <laughs> A coin dropped. Yeah, keep, keep tapping it. There's one coin in there. Well, take said coin, please. Oh, play it with said coin. Oh, I have to select when to drop, huh? How about that? I'm assuming I'm trying to get it into one of those measured, just one of those numbered uh, boxes. Like four. Ah, there you go. Take, no, keep playing, play more. Cause I need at least five coins, right? I mean, what a nice game to let me keep trying and just give me free money. Okay, we'll get it. We'll get it eventually. Yeah, there you go. That's enough coins. I'll take those coins, please. Excuse me? Uh, that wasn't enough coins? I thought we had four coins, please? Or do we need five coins? Okay, so I need to hit the seven? That was not the seven. Oh, it takes all the coins but one. I gotcha. Oh, that was so close to the seven. Clearly, you don't expect me to do this, Modus. Mr. Machine Boy, you don't expect me to keep doing this until I hit the exact spot, right? Let's go see what else is going on in this, uh, in this little town. Let's leave. Hello, sir. Let's look at your dog first. Hello, dog. Um, can I pet your dog, sir? Can I pet your dog? Sure. I see he likes a good scratch or two. There you go. Nice to meet you, Issy. Sir? I don't suppose I can bother you for to get five coins. Hello. I haven't seen you before. Are you with the company? Or one of those artists? Uh, are we the gas and oil and gas guy, or are we an artist? Because uh, he said something about artists being on the island. Uh, I mean, I think we know the answer to both of these, but sure, artists. I guess you looked a little too normal compared to these artists who come here. There's not many people visiting Slep, so I know to keep an eye out, or I try to keep an eye out, you know, for safety reasons. So what's your business here, young man? Um. Look, I'm looking for my grandpa's house. Tell about grandpa, try to be funny, say you're on vacation. Look, I'm gonna give it to you straight. I'm looking for grandpa. Well, I'm looking for his house. I know where he's at. I'm trying to find my grandfather's house. Grandfather, what's his name? He passed away this summer. His name was Leaf. Leaf, hmm, don't remember any Leaf. 
Olsen? Leif Olsen? Olsen? It's a house they call the Olsen house, but it's been abandoned for many years. It's south. Past the old farm. Haven't been down there in years. Uh, can you give me better directions? Use those thin sticks you call legs, of course. You should be happy to have a pair in working order. Why? What happened to your legs? Old military accident. More not in the military, per se. More like a military equipment malfunction. My boots were standard military feet. And me having... Or military fit, excuse me. And me having quite large feet. Long story short, decreased blood flow to the extremities led to a uh, amputation of said extremities. Ouch. So you killed your toes by wearing tiny shoes? They were really good boots. Great quality soles, cowskin throat line, and just a little bit of heel for posture. Anyway, I now have to wear those large civilian rubber boots. It's a shame, really. Sorry to hear that. Well, gotta go, Mr. Man that ruined his feet to wear too small of boots. Um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna keep playing the slot machine. But I'm not gonna make you wait a million years to see if I if I land in the seven. Okay? So I'm gonna pause the recording and then we'll come back when I uh when I have the seven. Okay, so I didn't hit the seven, I hit the three, and then I hit the three again or something, or hit two and a three. But I ended up with five coins, so it only really took like a, a second. Let's call mom and tell her. I guess I just insert my coins here. Beep. Beep. Hi, it's me. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm calling from an unusual phone number. Yeah, I'm a schlep. Uh... Look, I'm okay, but my backpack, not great. Yeah, I'm fine. It's very pretty here. I'm in a phone booth. My phone died. No, no, it's fine. I'll be careful. You don't have to worry about me. Beep. Listen, I'm running out of coins. I promise you, I'm totally fine. I uh, love you, Mom. And did you get that? Nope. At least she knows I'm here and that I'm alive. Yeah, I figured it was better to tell her we were alive and not worry her about our missing backpack. It's boarded up. Fishery closed a few years back. Couldn't compete with the big industrial fisheries that send their catch abroad. Without jobs, school closed. Uh, people started moving, but we're holding on, hoping for better times. Well, good luck to you, sir. Oh. Good luck to you and your community, sir. Can't go back there. Don't think that thing has been used in a while. Nope. Alright. Let's clamber over these rocks. I don't know where we're going. I'm assuming we need to go back into the, uh follow the road. But I thought I'd just clamber over some things. Alright, excuse me. I guess we go back here. High voltage. Keep away. Not gonna mess around in there unless I have to. Let me guess. You have to. But later. An old clothes dryer. I mean, we would call that a uh, clothes line. I mean, I guess it's the a post that a clothes line goes on, but I wouldn't really call it a dryer. An old satellite TV antenna thing. Hello, um, is anyone home? Doorbell says Erlen and Irene. I don't know who that is. Don't know if I should be going left or right. I got stuck, by the way. This house is surrounded. 
This house and surroundings are guarded by Issy, highly trained technical guard. Yeah, she doesn't seem very highly trained. Oh! What was that? Ow! Sounds like someone's in trouble. Well, let's go find out, dude. Um, you're just singing? Ooh, la la la. Oh. Sorry, did you say something? I was, uh, listening to music. I uh, apologize for disturbing you. Try to be funny. Hey, what kind of music are you listening to? Hey, what are you listening to? Oh, it's, uh, someone I know makes some tunes. I haven't seen you before. You weren't with the survey crew, are you? Uh, no. Trying to find the house where my grandfather grew up. The Olsen house, I guess. Olsen house? Yeah, that's that old house down that way. Though the road down there is pretty bad. I've only been down on that side by boat. I'm Caroline, by the way. Jesper. Cool, cool. So you're here for the summer? Just for a... Uh... Ahem. Who's this guy? Hitting on my girl. Try to explain. Misunderstanding. Reason. Um. Hey, it's just a misunderstanding, dude. You're misunderstanding. I'm. Oh, a southerner as well. Coming up here, stealing our girls. Are we now? Uh. Dismiss. Try to explain. Plead. Let's just dismiss. No. Hermod, listen. Not funny. He thinks it's pretty funny. Jasper, meet Hermald. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Should we say, I mean, let's go with, let's stick with Hermald. The village idiot. It's a stupid job, but someone's got to do it. Jasper is visiting his grandfather's house. You know, the old Olsen house on the south end? Did we say it was our grandfather's house? I don't remember. I know we said we were looking for the Olsen house. Right, cool. So, how long are you staying? Just for a week. A whole week at this godforsaken place, eh? You're gonna die of boredom, I tell you. Hey, don't listen to him. Schlepp is beautiful, especially when the weather is like this. The boring is... all get out. Mud is perpetually miserable. Don't mind him. Hey, I'm a realist. This place sucks. Well, I gotta get back to work. No! I just told my dad that you had the day off. They'll force me to work on the boat. Uh, we can hang later. Maybe we can show you around the, the island? Sounds good. Farewell, my prince. Hope work doesn't ruin thy delicate hands. Hey, don't make fun of my delicate hands. These hands will rule the world one day. Ah, see you later, boys. Well, okay, I better head back as well. Try not to die of boredom. I won't. All right. So, we will not die of boredom, and we know the old some places that way. So, Grandpa's house is down that way. Yes, indeed. Anything at the end of this little jetty? Little rock face? Nope. What do we have here? What's this sign? I forgot that uh, you have to use the, <laughs> the the thing, the cursor. Fish flake, traditional fish drying rack used for salted cod. It's not set up right. Looks a little broken. Doesn't look much like the picture. Well, let's see if we can fix it. That looks like an important piece of the structure. Use our special bracelet powers! Activate! Uh, okay, so that wasn't the right way. Alright, that goes up. Then maybe, uh, the side planks go on? Okay, we botched it. Side planks go on, which gives it 
which does not give it stability. The middle triangle. All right, the middle triangle is what we need. Does that go on before or after the... Nope. All right, wooden triangle goes up first. Got to. All right, we'll get it eventually. For real? Okay, that time we were way too early. All right, now middle. Tr so we've done side planks. We've done long plank. Middle triangle. And not middle triangle. Side planks knock it over there, right? Yeah. All right. What about what about long plank first? <laughs> no. Okay. What about side planks? What are they attached to? Nothing. Yeah, so it's got to be what we've done. It's got to be in triangle. Yeah, because none of those work for first piece. I was like, the only structure that's still standing. Yeah, so... Oh, there's a thin plank over here in the grass I didn't see. What is that? There's another plank that's falling down. What? What is it? Can I get it out of the weeds? stuck under the thing. Okay. Oh, it's the support for the wooden triangle. I gotcha. So, put up the triangle. I said, put up the triangle. Then support it with the thin plank. Man. I'm just not good at this uh, timing. Okay, support it with the plank. Now it can't fall down. Alright, now... Now side planks. Now middle triangle. Okay, not. All right. T top plank then. Now middle triangle. How about that? There we are, the fish flake has been fixed. Congratulations, I have solved a problem. That's better. Team unlocked, carpenter. Uh, why is there a traffic cone? Time my dude gets kind of stuck walking in place for a little bit. Huh, an old traffic cone, probably washed ashore here. Can I take it? Okay. Don't know why. Maybe that's important later. Alright. Old house. Old broken down house. This house is falling apart. Probably been vacant for decades. This is the old road to the Olsen place. Pretty flowers. Very purple. The old house. There's flowers on the roof, too. This has to be it, right? Huh. Seems to be flowers growing on the roof. Can't enter the barn. Maybe we can enter the barn. Locked. What if I just blow the door off the hinges? Is that a good idea or not? I mean, let's not do that yet. I mean, I don't want to be destructive about it. That's probably what we have to do, because the house doesn't look enterable. I don't think people have lived here for a very long time. Can't go run back. Can't interact with it. Can't blow the house down. So I guess we do this, the barn doors. Yeah, 
wasn't destructive. I thought we were going to blow the doors clean off. It's an old broken tractor. A smelly hole, huh? Oof, smells like animal poop down there. Um, at least I hope it's from animals. Slight bit of typo there where it said down, down. Old farming equipment. It looks broken. That's a weird place to hang a wheelbarrow. The floor has collapsed. Can't get to it. But what if I, uh, what if I blow it down? I keep hitting it while it's swinging. Well, that was not good timing, huh? There you go, just knock it right out the wall. Oops. <laughs> hey, hey. Well, one wheelbarrow for me. Don't know why I have a wheelbarrow, but now I have one. It's old, rusty, and empty. All right, what would I put in it, though? That's the question. All right, maybe that wasn't our grandpa's house. Let's move on. I mean, we just broke that guy's barn for nothing. Hello? Hello? I don't think anyone's here. Sit in the chair. Sit in the chair and relax. Get up. Yeah, time to get up. That sound makes me sleepy. I don't drink coffee, but the smell is nice. Grandpa used to let me dip sugar cubes in his cup. Crunching the sugar crystals between my teeth. Bittersweet. Yeah, I don't drink coffee either. What is this thing? Looks like it's made from plastic and garbage. I mean, yeah, it probably is stuff that is taken out of the ocean. Or washed up on the beach. Is there anything this way? No, can't really go that way. Alright, moving on. Can't go down. I have to just keep heading. Oh, hello, ship. Is that our boat that we were on? No. That's that ship that almost ran into us. I think they're using those cannons to map the seafloor and looking for oil. Alright. Kind of sonar kind of thing. Whoa. Sorry, a seagull. Well, that's a big hole. Oh, but I see a rock I can knock down. Uh, the road is missing a big chunk. Got to find a way to cross it. I have to cross this to get to Grandpa's house. Not if I do this. It's not blocking it now, is it? Well, what timing? Ooh. I gotta get better at that. It's stuck. Okay, we drop, drop down another rock on top of it. Man, I'm just no good at this. Alright, what about this rock? Now? Now will you? Now will you shove over? There you are. That turned out better than I expected, really? Kinda thought it was worse than I expected because it took longer than I thought. Uh, there's a dead whale over here? What the? Can't see much from here. Hello, whale? Where are you going, my boy? 
Okay, camera. Is it dead? Hey, it's not dead. Whoa. Hey, hey, easy there, buddy. How'd you end up here? Poor thing, we need to get you back in the sea, quick. All right, we'll shove you. Okay, some pathing issues going on here. It's, it's stuck in the sand, okay. What if I uh, move the river? Okay, you just hold on, bud. If there was more water in that river, it might have been easier to get the whale out to sea. How do I get water into the river? Hey, camera, 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 camera. How do I get more water in the river, though? And what's this? Is this like oil slicks? Is that why you washed up? Because the water has oil in it? You just hold hold on, Mr. Whale. Gotta figure this out. The woods. The riverbed. Timber. Oh, that's not gonna help me. Let's head into the woods. I can dam up the river, right? Is that what you want me to do? Ah, yeah, there's something blocking the river. Stairway's gone. Can't get up there. Looks like the river has been clogged up by all this stuff. The river was flowing. It might be easier to get the whale out. All right, can I just knock down the debris? I swear that one was good. No. Can't move them. Okay, what about the excavator? Alright. Ooh, sparks. Well let's let's move the bucket then. Can I move the bucket again? No, just moves pivots a little. Alright, arm then. Arm. Alright, now you should be able to swivel. Alright, um... Boom down. Bucket out. Now boom down. Hmm. Can the excavator come forward anymore? No, it can just spin. Spins back and forth, right? Yeah. So that spins back and forth. What else am I missing? An oil drum. Oh, there's an old oil drum up there. And the water mill. Alright, oil drum. What can I do with that? Gasoline. Oh, I can make sparks. We've already mentioned I can make sparks. Okay. That's over there. All right, now... Oops, I think that barrel is leaking. Yes, now if I do the boom... No, I need the uh, bucket. Yeah, now the boom... Pretty sure that should have done it, but maybe not. Oh, what I need to do is now lower the boom. I cannot do that. All right, never mind. All right, that's where it's gonna be. The boom can't interact with that.
arm bucket. Oh, I've been doing it wrong. Of course, been doing it wrong. Yeah, now boom. Really? That didn't cross sparks? All right, bucket out. Now boom. I kind of forgot that boom and arm was separate things. Uh oh. Well, the river should be flowing now. And the water wheel is turning. All right, that went exactly according to my very deliberate plan. Yeah, I'm sure it did. It took so long, the uh, whale is probably dead by now. Hello, whale? Are you alive? Maybe the water from the river can help me get it back into the sea. Goodbye, whale friend. Hopefully you are, in fact, still living. It worked, but... Was I too late? I killed a whale. Ah! Woohoo! All right, time to find Grandpa's house. All right, you know what? Achievement unlocked whale saver, and I think it just saved. I hope it just saved. So uh, I'm gonna call that a good time to end the episode. So thanks for joining me. Hope you enjoyed it. And hope to see you again next time.